short of time, certainly. Mr. Daly, on behalf of SND. Mrs. Mr. Daly. Mrs. Mrs. Sorry, Mrs. Daly, sorry, of course. It doesn't matter. Don't sorry, worry. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Thank you, Chair. Um, thank you, Mr. Executive Director, for your presentation and also for the report. Um, I was having a look at it in more detail. We honestly believe that in its relatively short lifetime, um, the agency has made a valuable contribution both to network and information security. However, we also believe that it is pretty clear that the continuation of the agency in its current form does not make the agency properly prepared to face the new challenges in a continually evolving cyber world. At one point, you also mentioned the rapid changes that we experience in the cyber world. So um, it is worth considering how to face these rapid changes and the new challenges that come along. Um, and in this sense, I would like to ask you first and foremost, how are you envisaging that the agency will effectively contribute to network and information security, both in the EU, but also internationally? Whether you have identified the main challenges that the agency is facing and whether you have already a plan in place to address these challenges, is there a plan in place also, or whether you're thinking of having a plan in place to launch a strategy that will effectively protect our children online in this day and age? And finally, your report states the internal market, and here I'm quoting, the internal market for security products and services in the EU is not balanced because the market is dominated by U.S. companies and functions. How can the agency concretely and in an effective manner help reach this balance? Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam, also for keeping in your time perfectly. Um, there were other questions about um, <coughs> rapid changes, the main challenges. Um, um, what I would say here is that <coughs> we have a lot of experts and um, what our advantage is, we have staff from the public sector, from the industry, which is very motivated. So we have a lot of experts which work on our projects and give expertise. And honestly, the, the problem we have, <coughs> normally we would call it challenge, but, but the problem we face is it's the staff and the budget issue. If you look into the original planning when the assessment at center for the current mandate was made, Unfortunately, the negotiations came in the financial crisis. So I understand that member states don't have an increase of budget, but the question is how do you prioritize the things? And uh, our challenge is that with the member states management board, we have to select topics, and by this we miss topics. You know? And the problem for us is that in a lot of cases we only have one staff working on a topic, with no backup because the resources are not there. So it's a question of priorities. Um, uh, when I talked about the internal market and also combined with the question when I talked about uh, uh, push and pull, if you look today, we are using everywhere off-the-shelf products. If it's critical infrastructure, governments or whatever. So this means these are products which are normally produced for the mass market. If you look for the business models, you have social networks, you have uh, trading, you have uh, searching, you have the big players like Google, Amazon, or Facebook, you have the big players like Microsoft, Cisco, IBM, HP, name them. So the question is what can we do in Europe if you look into our industry? The positive message is we have in Europe a very good small and medium enterprise situation for IT security companies, being 20, 50, a couple of hundred staff. But we only have a few big players. So what we are trying is that we have a permanent stakeholder group as an advisory board, where we have representatives from the industry, of course from the big players, but also small companies. We have academia there. And the process is that we do is that we get the input from the industry and from the academic area 
and we have consumer groups also there, and take this input into the management board and discuss then with the management board where we have the representatives from the government of the member states, our work program. And if you look into this, it's something where we get the up-to-date challenges into the discussions, and from this we can then uh, propose our work program, get it adapted, and work on this.